Video 1. I'm turning down the light. Trying to focus. Stable. <laughs> Here we go. Now I'm moving the glass plate. This is the edge where the super saturation stops. Here are some colored crystals. Just to show how the difference is between polarized and non-polarized light, I'll turn the polarization filter now. This is the darkest point. Now it goes lighter again. Going back to the darkest point. Interesting to see how the red only shows up in the darkest point, but the blue and the greenish is there more or less all the time. Turning the disc further, this is another place of the super saturation edge where it stops being cut off and starts being uh, continuous growth. This is another kind of edge, very different from where we started. I need to refocus. I think I'll try putting more light on. Here we go. More light. I'll keep turning here. Here the super saturation seems to be going over to a more open form before it crisscrosses. Here the super saturation is almost indistinguishable from the rest of it. Here we go to edge. Here is the inner part. Now turning all around here. Just gonna sh turn on the light to see. This is how it looks. The edge here is much more cut, and we're back to the area where we started. When you're looking in the B monocular, you can actually see the 3D view of uh, these crystals. They very abrupt stop here and has a, a fall, like from a cliff almost, down to the area here, which is very thin. And yeah, the area here is still have crystals um, but this area is much thicker and it's more uh, hay-ish uh, it looks like these crystals these crystals are open in a 3D structure 
while this is actually growing on the glass plate. And now we're back to the place where the super saturation for a moment uh, the the edge is almost indistinguishable, indistinguishable from the super saturation. And out here, these formations, I really think they're strange. It seems more like it should be with an addition, even though this is this is a sample without an addition at all. It is uh, one thousand five hundred milligram uh, copper chloride per plate. And here you see the colors, even though there is uh, no addition. When I put the polarization filter, you can see it even more clear. Goes really nice blue. And back again. But it's funny how some of the colors keeps their... Uh, this is yellow. There's some green, there's pink here even, there's something out here as well. It seems to me like these crystal that makes the forms uh, has a lesser tendency to make colors than those that goes all the way from the center almost. You can try to follow these to the edge, very strong. Here the color stop as well. This very long needle goes all the way in here, and here's the super another part of super saturation this is how the center looks put on a bit more light too little light mm, so refocus there we go It's kind of strange that here there is not not the same uh, kind of separation in the parts here along mm, this line. It seems to not really be there. A little more to the right. It's more open. There is an extra zone. This zone. And this one goes to this crystallization part. So, well, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed.